Hello, my name is Scott Stanley and I work in marketing at the Lincoln Electric Company. I'm here today to introduce you to the new Fleet Series of diesel engine driven welders. The Fleet 500 and the Fleet 650 were designed from the ground up to be simple, reliable, and built for the harshest environments. They're also designed based on Lincoln Electric's long proven chopper technology. Let's take a look at how easy it is to set. The Fleet engine driven welders are designed for a welder of any skill level. As you can see, the control panel is divided into three sections. Welding controls are all gathered in the top section. Most prominent is the output control knob, which provides fully continuous control to the operator. Below the output control knob are two rocker switches. The center one is the weld mode switch. This allows the operator to switch from stick mode to TIG and then to pipe and gouge mode. As you can see, these icons have different colors. The stick mode icon is black which corresponds to the amperage range available in this mode. The TIG mode is white. The white color corresponds to the amperage range on the output control of this mode. Moving the weld mode switch to the right selects pipe gouge mode. As you can see, the icons are red and black, which corresponds to the range switch at the left. In this mode, the operator has a choice between a high and low amperage range, which is selected using the range switch. On the right hand side is the arc force control. Arc force is the last ditch burst of current designed to prevent the electrode from sticking. Turn it to plus 10 for a harsher arc and minus 10 for a softer arc. Most of the time it's just fine on zero. The middle section is all about the engine itself. It contains the run stop switch, the start push button, and the various engine gauges, including oil pressure, fuel and hour meter, and oil temperature. At the far right, is a six pin remote control connection and it is auto sensing. There is no local remote switch on this machine. The lower section of the welder contains the auxiliary power plugs and the positive and negative terminals for welding output. So there you have it, the control panel on Lincoln's new fleet series of diesel engine driven welders. Oh and by the way, check out the output ratings on these machines.